People like get and set together because they kind of feel like opposites. They kind of feel like they're together, they're three letters long, they rhyme. But the opposite of set is not get, it's reset or unset. And there's two elements here, one of which is the naming aspect, but the other is the pairing, this false pairing. And we end up with stuff like, people just, without even thinking, will promptly go ahead, and if they've been writing get, they're waiting for the other shoe to drop, and they will be busy writing set as well. Whenever I run TDD workshops, I'm amazed at how many people will put in setters even though they have no tests. They've only tested the getters. And I'll say, well, why have you got a setter in there? Oh, I didn't realize it went in. They didn't realize because it was a habit. Or, even better, their IDE did it for them. That's, that's brilliant. That's what IDEs are for. They allow you to do the wrong thing faster. So, simple as that, we get rid of it. And suddenly, we've got some benefit. Here's the point. There's no natural mirroring. There's no reason they should be there. You, you should be very doubtful if you see such pairings. They do occur, but they're not common. The other refinement I'm going to suggest is this is a noise word. It doesn't actually add much meaning to the code at all. And suddenly you see that it's not about getting, it's about units, hundreds, currency. This is the other thing you need to be aware of. In English, get does not mean ask a question. Get means it's a command, it's an imperative. You should adopt a more functional style. Get means change the state of something. Okay? It has a side effect, which is what surprises people. Yeah? When people get drunk, there's a side effect. Yeah? When you get money from a cash machine, disappointingly, there is a side effect. Okay? So get means I'm going to change something. 